slowly. Straighten both legs. Bring your right hand on the right shin or on your right ankle. Take your left arm up. In triangle pose, you're stretching out the hamstring. Open the chest, open the hips. Take another inhale. Let it go, exhale. Bend your front knee. Slowly reverse warriors. Sweep the right arm all the way back. Exhale, extended side angle. So bend that front knee. Bring your right hand on the outside edge of your right foot. Feel free to also modify and rest your right forearm on the right quad. Take the left arm over the ear. Spin the chest open for three. Now it's a lateral side stretch. Spin the chest open four and five. Bring both hands down at the top of the mat. Step back to plank pose, shoulders over your wrists. Chataranga, feel free to bring the knees down if needed. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And we're gonna do the same sequence onto the second side. And you slowly, you take your left leg high up. Open your left hip, bend your left knee. Left knee towards the right tricep. Feel that core engagement, hold. Take your left leg high up. Left knee to left tricep. We hold. <laughs> take your left leg all the way up. Left knee to your nose. Left foot in between the hands, low lunge. Spin the back heel down. Relax your breathing. Inhale, warrior one. Square off the hips, exhale, open into warrior two. Reach back, reverse warrior. Stay there, straighten your front leg, reverse triangle. Exhale, reach forward, hinge at the hips, triangle pose. Feel free to shorten your stance just an inch to give you more stability. Have your arms a straight line from wrist to wrist. Relax the shoulders down your back. Take another inhale. Let it go, exhale. Slowly, when we bend the front knee, reverse warrior. Take the mind away. Exhale, extended side angle. Feel free to bring your left hand down on the mat, or if you need to modify, rest the left forearm on your left quad, right arm forward for two. Relax the shoulders, three. Open your chest, four, five. Bring both hands down at the top of the mat. Step back to that plank pose, shoulders over your wrists. Look forward, chataranga. You can bring the knees down, squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, up dog, lift the chest up. Exhale, down dog, lift your hips up. Take a moment, take an inhale. Let it go, exhale, and press those heels down. Bend your knees, look forward. Lightly hop to the top of your mat, or you can simply just step forward. Inhale, look up, halfway, hands on your shins. Exhale, all the way down. Bend your knees, arms over your head, chair pose. You open the chest, look up. Exhale, stand tall. Arms by your side. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna switch places. Serena took us through the yoga portion, so now I'm gonna take us through the high intensity interval portion. <laughs> so, the HIT training that we're gonna to do today is gonna to consist of two circuits. Each circuit is gonna be comprised of three exercises, each being three or 30 seconds each for three rounds, with 15 seconds between each round. So, Serena here is gonna be doing the workout with me. <laughs> So the first exercise in circuit one is gonna be a squat. I'm gonna have you sit deep, keep your spine long. And then if you wanna make that a little bit more challenging, you can add a jump to make it a little bit more metabolic. Exercise two, we're gonna come down to plank. You can either do push-ups from your knee or knees up, push-up from the floor. Exercise three is gonna be mountain climbers. You guys got that? Got it. All right, yeah. let's get going. Let's get those squats. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Serena's doing a good job tracking her knees over her second and third toe. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a little bit of a jump. So you wanna explode up towards the ceiling and land softly. That way you can absorb the impact. 
Nice job, Serena. <laughs> I feel my heart rate go up. <laughs> All right, we got three seconds. And we'll come down into plank. We'll get to those push-ups. Drop your chest down towards the floor. Raise back up. Keep your elbows close to the body. And if you need to modify, you can place your knees down. You should feel your triceps and your chest burning here. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely feel my triceps. All right, three, two, one, come up into mountain climbers. So drive your knees to your chest. If this is a little bit taxing on your wrist, what you could do is make a fist. That way we put your wrists in neutral. Or you can always make it a little bit simpler by just changing the speed. So you can go a little bit slower. Or if you want to pick the pace up, you'll just go nice and fast, just like Serena. <laughs> All right, guys, we got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> Good job. Nice job. <laughs> All right, guys, that was round one. So we'll rest up, go back through it again. <laughs> Make sure How you're at feeling? home. Take a drink of water. I feel great. <laughs> All right, guys, round two starts now. Back to the, either the squats or the jump squat. There we go, Serena. <laughs> go for height, get a nice soft landing so your knees can absorb the shock or your legs can absorb the shock. Here you go, 10 seconds left, guys. Your quad should be burning by now, especially if oh, you're doing yeah. the plyometric version. <laughs> Three, two, one, come down to plank. Here we go. We'll get those push-ups. And you can see that Serena here is doing a really good job. She's keeping a nice plank position with her body. So you have a straight line from shoulders, hips, down to ankles. Here you go, Serena. <laughs> we got five seconds left. Almost there. I know it's getting tough, but you can push through. And mountain climbers next. Here we go. This is where you're gonna get your heart rate up. This is gonna be that metabolic portion where you're really pushing and your breath should be going to breathless. <sighs> Here you go, Serena. <laughs> and you guys can see, even here, her hips are at a level height throughout the exercise. That's you keeping her core under control as she's going. All right, three, two, one, and stop. Oh. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. All right, that was round two. <laughs> so now we got one more round before we start circuit three or circuit two. <laughs> All right, work to breathless, like I said. <laughs> All right, here we go, round three. Got those squats. And if you've been doing squats the whole time and you feel that it's not challenging enough, please feel free to add the jump. If you're good with the squats as they are, go ahead and just keep going with the body weight squats. All right, we got 10 seconds left, guys. <laughs> Two, one, drop down to plank. Here we go. Get those push-ups. Your triceps should be burning. They remember, definitely are. <laughs> remember, this is a plank as well, so keep your glutes squeezed, quads tight, that way your hips and knees don't bend. All right, we got 10 seconds left. Let's see how many more push-ups we can get in the last 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and mountain climbers. There you go, Serena, it's not over yet. I know you want it to be. All right. So anything you got left in the tank, let's put it in here. There you go, Serena. You'll feel your shoulders burning from holding that plank. Your core should be fatiguing and your heart rate should be going up. Okay, we got three seconds left, two, one, and stop. Ooh. Ooh, nice job. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, I want you to take a little breather. We just finished circuit one. So grab a drink of water if you need it, and then feel free to come back in about 30 seconds. <laughs> How you feeling? Great. <sighs> Definitely feel my heart rate go up. <laughs> yep. So we use yoga to help stretch out the body, 
then this is what's gonna get our heart rate up to boost our metabolism. So for circuit two, what we're gonna do is reverse lunge left, reverse lunge right. If you wanna add the challenge, you can take that into a plyometric, hop and alternate. Exercise two is gonna be walkouts. You can just walk in, walk out. If you want a little extra challenge, feel free to tap your opposite shoulder and then walk it back in. Then exercise three is gonna be burpees. We're gonna hop down, up, jump up. If you want a little bit easier regression, you can step back, step back up. Okay, you guys ready to go? Ready. All right, here we go. Round one, reverse lunges. Here we go, guys. As you can see, Serena's doing a good job keeping her knee right over her midfoot. That's gonna be the strongest position for your knees because you're utilizing your hips a lot. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the walkouts. Walk in, walk out. If you want that challenge, touch your opposite shoulder. Touch opposite shoulder, try not to wiggle too much. Okay guys, see how Serena's keeping her hips up high as she's walking it back in? You'll get a good stretch in the hamstrings and it'll load your shoulders more as well. And three, two, one, and stop. Okay, burpee time. This is where you're really gonna put all your effort in. Push up, jump up. If you need to, feel free to step back, step up, reach up towards the ceiling. Or you can add the push-up if you want a little bit extra. Okay, three, two, one, and stop. Ooh. Nice job, Serena. Thank you. All right, take a quick breather. We'll get started again in about 10 seconds. How are those burpees feeling? Oh, a challenge, but... They're nowhere near as tough as your class, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it again. We'll start the reverse lunges. Remember, knee one inch off the ground. You want your knee right over your midfoot. You want the challenge, go for the alternating. Nice job, Serena. Thank you. Let's keep going. All right, we got 10 seconds left, guys. Here you go, this is round two. You should feel your quads burning by now. Oh yeah. And switch. We'll go into the walkouts. Walk forward, optional shoulder tap. Bring it back in. Here you, feel, you should feel your shoulders getting fatigued as you're going through. And keep your core engaged to hold that nice plank position at the top. We got 10 seconds left, guys. Remember, reach the hips high as you're walking it back in. Three. Two, one, and burpees. Jump up, hop down, hop up. Want the extra challenge, add that push up. Good job you guys all at home. Here we go, we're halfway through the second Ooh. round of burpees. Ah. Last 10 seconds to try to get as many burpees as we can. <laughs> Three, two, Ooh. one. Ah. And stop. Whew. Good job. Nice job. Thank you. All right, guys, take a quick breather. We have one more round of circuit two before we get back into some yoga. Oh, yeah. One more round. You guys can do it at home, okay? All right. Three, two, one, and go. We got reverse lunges or the alternating plyo split squats. Here we go. I know your quads are burning now, but this is the last push. Here we go, guys. We got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and switch. Head to those walkouts. Give your legs a rest while we work your shoulders and core. Here you go, Serena. You got this. If you want more of a challenge, you can bring your feet all the way together, which will make the Shoulder taps, that much harder. So to make it easier, take your feet out wide. It'll give you a more stable base. 
All right, three, two, one. We got burpees again. Hop down, hop up. Here you go, this is round three. So everything you got left goes here. I'll leave it all on the mat before we stretch out. Here we go, we're halfway through round three of burpees. I know you guys are feeling tired, but we only got 10 <laughs> seconds left. Let's push through. Ooh. We're almost there. Three, two, one, Ooh. and done. Ooh. Good job. Nice job, uh, Serena. Thank you. I know guys. you guys out there are working hard too. Uh, so Ooh. grab a drink of water quick, take a little breather. <laughs> then Serena's gonna help us stretch out again. Oh. Wow, <sighs> what a great workout. Thank you so <sighs> much. So everyone, let's just cool off. Let's just bring our hands at the top of the mat. You just step back to that plank pose, shoulders over your wrists, and then push back to that downward facing dog. Stretch out your back, take your hips back. The most important, always focus on breathing. Take an inhale, let it go, exhale. Take your left leg high up. Bring your left knee to your nose and slowly bring your left knee onto the mat. The left knee is by your left wrist. Extend your right leg all the way behind you. You want your hips squared off and take your time. Slowly walk forward, rest your body weight and can place the forehead down on the mat. And if this stretches too much, feel free to place a pillow or feel free to place blankets underneath the left seat. As important as it is to, you know, build cardiovascular um, exercise and, you know, for strength training, it's also equally important to take time to heal and release the body. And you're feeling that stretch along the left glute. You are releasing tension out of your lower back. And if this pose, half pigeon pose, is too much, you can also modify and lie on your back. You can cross the left leg over the right. Both hands grab the back of the right thigh. And just slowly take a few moments. And take an inhale. Let it go, exhale. And very slowly, you lift your head up, press into both hands, tuck your right toe, take your left leg all the way up, down dog split, and then lower the left leg, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, let it go, exhale. And we're gonna do the same sequence, the same pose on the second side. So you just take your right leg high up. Bring your right knee to your nose. Slowly bring your right knee onto the mat, right knee by your right wrist. Extend your left leg all the way behind you. Keep the hips squared off. Take your time. Slowly you can extend the arms forward. Lower the torso, fold forward. Let everything go. And take in this present moment. Feel that release. And feel free, if, if, if this stretches too much, you can also just lay on your back for modified pigeon pose. This time cross the right leg over the left, turn out the right leg. You want to flex the right foot. Both hands reach for the back of the left thigh. Feel that deep release along the right piriformis muscle. And take an inhale. Let it go, exhale. And very slowly, we sit up. Place your hands at the top of the mat. Tuck the left toe. Take your right leg up, down dog split. Lower the leg, 
downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. You can lightly walk through or you just jump through to a seated position. Then when you sit, you lie on your back. So after all of that high intensity workout, you wanna release your lower back. So slowly bring the knees to the chest. And then your arms are wide like a T a laying spinal twist, a supine twist. Slowly, you can bring both knees together and bring the legs over to the right side. If you want a deeper stretch, you cross the left leg over the right, gaze over the left shoulder. Let it all go. Feel that release along your lower back. And then slowly come back to center. If you cross your legs, just uncross the legs. And we do the same thing on the second side. Slowly bring both knees over to the left, gaze over the right shoulder. If you want a deeper stretch, cross the right leg over the left. Just breathe into your lower back. Let everything go. And slowly come back to center and cross the legs. And we take a few moments, Shavasana, for full relaxation. We straighten our legs, arms by your side, palms facing up. Feel that release. Feel that emotion. The mind is calm. And very slowly, take an inhale. Let it go, exhale. Gently wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Extend your arms over your head for a final stretch. And take your time. Roll over onto the left side. Bring in your knees. Use your left arm as a pillow. Close the eyes. You are at peace. 